What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, fam? What's up, YouTube? What's up, Facebook? What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? Listen, I'm you know I'm out. What I do on Fridays? What I do on Fridays? Hang out with my mom. I hang out with my mom. You know that's 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 my best best friend. You know that's my best friend. But you know uh, I want to talk about friendship today, y'all. I, I just want to expound and talk about the friendship. You know, listen. You know, people are so quick to be your friends. Some people are so quick to be your friends. But it's some people being their friends, they're expensive like a product. Like a product purse. You know, they're very expensive. There are some friendships that costs you a lot of goddamn money. You understand? It costs you a lot of money, costs you a lot of hardship, costs you a lot of stress, costs you a lot of pain. You understand? It's just some people we can't afford to have to be our friends. Hmm? It's some people we can't afford for them to be our friends. They're so fucking expensive. Every time you turn around, they need money. They need a ride. They need a place to stay. Huh? They need to borrow your 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 man or your woman to be their lover. <laughs> Goddamn so called motherfucking friends. Huh? Hmm. Look here. Stop being so quick to make people your friends. Mm -hmm. That's a privilege. That's not a request. And if if it means for somebody to be your friend, it's gonna cost you a lot of goddamn money. See, when you take on a friend, you're taking on all their motherfucking responsibilities. That's like having marriage. You understand? When you get married, you take on the children, the relatives, the bills, the pain, the bullshit. You take on everything when you get married. That's just like a friendship. If you're a true friend or ride to die, you're going you're gonna to hang in there no matter what that person's going through. You know, no matter what hardship or what what pain or, uh, or situations they're going through, you know, you're going to hang on in there. You know, because that's your motherfucking friend. And let me tell you something. Some some friends are too fucking expensive. they too expensive. I, can, I It's some friendships I can't afford. You know, people be trying to get close to you and befriend them. Some people, you got to push them away. Like... Mm -mm, I can't. Mm -mm, I can't afford you. You understand? I can't afford you. You don't have a car. You don't have a job. You don't have a place to stay. See, and by me, by me being your friend, all that shit gonna fall on me. Mm -mm. Stop making everybody your goddamn friend. You understand? And friend, friendship is is a very special thing. And if you ain't ready to ride to die for that person, don't even include yourself as being a friend because friendship means when shit hit the fan. And times get hard, you stand by them. But if you befriend somebody that's already having a hard time, already down in their luck, and already having a hard, uh, 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 financially broke, your ass in some trouble. Because if you're going to be a true friend, a ride to die friend, you're going to have to carry all that weight and carry their motherfucking cross too. Think about that friendship, that friendship shit before you allow somebody to be your friend. Because you can't afford to be everybody's goddamn friend. Sometimes they mo they just as expensive as a motherfucking product. What's up? What's up? What's up? Facebook hanging out with my mom. This is a second video for the day. Let me tell you something. There's nothing wrong with when you meet somebody and you ask them what it is you want from me. I mean, it may seem like it's a bold kind of raw, cold-hearted question, but it's not that bad. It's like what you what you what you want from me. Some people say, well, I don't want nothing much. I just want to fuck. Some people say, well, I want to be your friend. Some people say, oh, I don't want nothing. I just, you know, want a conversation. You know, but very seldom do people really, 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 really tell you what, what they real interest is when they meet you. I mean, what they real interest is. You understand? You know, I mean, if you just start asking a person when you meet them, whether they... It's, it's in a club setting. It's whether somebody walking up to you, you know, and you you at the restaurant or, or you they walking up to you in the, and you in the grocery line and they start talking to you. If it's just a casual conversation, maybe it's not necessary. But if they trying to pursue you, it's okay to ask them, "What is it you want?" Because I don't give a fuck who you are. Everybody wants something from somebody. It's not a person on this earth when they come when they pursue you to get to know you that they don't want something from you that's a fact that's a fact they want something from you whether it's financial whether it's companionship whether it's friendship 
whether it's bullshit, whether it's fraud, whether it's whatever they want. They want something. And it's okay to ask the person, now, what, what is it you want? I mean, what, I mean, what you want? What, you, what, you, what your intentions are with me? Fathers ask, they ask boys. Fathers ask uh, men that all the time when they date their they daughters. They always ask the young man, what your intentions are with my, with my daughter, young man? What are your intentions with my daughter? You know, meaning that that father, I already know, is something that you have that's in your mind already concerning my daughter. What you want to do? You want to fuck her? You want to marry her? Which way is going? You understand? If you date my daughter and take it out, it's, it, what are your intentions with her? Same thing when you meet somebody. It's okay to ask them, what are your intentions with me? Hmm? You know? What are your intentions with me? Women, spims, you need to ask studs that all the time. What are your intentions with me? Sometimes they want to really get to know you. And sometimes they don't want to know you at all. They just want to fuck you. And this is fact shit I'm telling you. And there's nothing wrong with including that into your conversation. What are your intentions with me? Now, whether they tell you the truth, they true intentions, that's another thing. But at least throw that out there and see what they got to say. Hmm? You know? And, 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 and I have to ask that with females. I'm a stud, but I have to ask that with females. What are your intentions with me? Because females pursue me all the time. What are your intentions? Do you want to just, uh, you know, fuck around and see what, you know, what's, what's happening? Do you want, you do, are you looking for marriage? Are you looking for relationship? What are your intentions? What do you want? You just want to casually date? You know, what do you want? What's your intentions? So, you know, throw that out there. Hmm? It's okay when you meet somebody and they're pursuing you. Ask them. It's nothing wrong with that. It's not a bad thing. Ask them. You know, what's your motherfucking intentions with me? Huh? You want to fuck me? You want to make me your wife? You just want a casual date? You want to put me in a harem? I mean, you know, ask them. I ask that fucking question all the time, and I'm a stud. You know, they ask me, they say, I move too slow. You move too slow. Uh, Splash, you need to hurry up and fuck me. No, nah, I ain't got to do a motherfucking thing. You understand? Because I ain't going to fuck you if I'm not going to keep you. Huh. Hmm. That's the way old Splash wrote. If I'm not going to keep you, I'm not going to fuck you. Hmm. What's the purpose? What's the purpose? I don't did that. Anymore. Baby, I don't did that. I don't. Man, look at here. I don't been there and done that. You understand? Broke a lot of hearts. Regret a lot of things. Because I didn't understand the sisters, the queenship self-worth. You know, I don't done that. You understand, for my own selfish ways, I used to, you know, do that. I used to, you know, intentionally, do my whole intentions was just to get with a babe, and that's it. That's all it was. You understand? But I don't do that no more. But the same thing for y'all. Understand your self-worth. And ask the person, it's okay. What is your motherfucking intentions with me? I mean, you pursuing me, you calling me, you texting me, you, 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 you sending me flowers. What's your intentions? Hmm, now... Mm -mm. Now I'm not just interested in a casual bed buddy. So when they when they tell you their intentions, like I say, 99% of the time they're not gonna tell you the truth. Especially if it's not their intentions are not good. They're gonna tell you what sounds good to you. Now once they tell you what their intentions are, it's left up to you to keep yourself on track and make sure that that person is not playing you. You understand? And and if you if you can never get played, you can never ever. I don't give a fuck what somebody's intentions are. You can never get played as long as you keep pussy and money out the game. As long as you keep pussy and money out the game.